joining us today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo. I have some very exciting news to share with everyone today. And here to help me out is my friend, the CEO of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, Ms. Eileen Huff. Eileen, welcome. Thank you, Maria. And I'm so excited <laughs> because this is the time of year when we always talk about the Palos Verdes Peninsula Street Fair and Music mm -hmm. Festival. This year, it is the Palos Verdes Marketplace. Mm -hmm. So please tell us all about it and what people can expect this year. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Maria, for having me as always. And uh, we're very, very excited because as we all know, it's been a bit of a challenging year. It has. And um, obviously our local businesses really, really need our support. And I just want to start out by thanking the community for just being so loyal and so supportive of our local businesses. And um, I'm going to ask you to please keep that up because businesses are still battered. They are still suffering. Um, it has been a challenging year and will continue to be for many, many reasons. And so what we really wanted to do this year was to bring the community together, bring people outside in a safe way, um, make sure that we are following, of course, every county protocol and health order rule, um, and, and bring people out and support local businesses. So we decided to take a look at the big street fair, and mm -hmm. yes, we want to get back to that, but this is not the year, we're not quite there yet. And so what we're doing is we've created an event, an event called the Carnival and Marketplace, or okay. Marketplace and Carnival, right. whichever you want to put first. Okay. And the idea is to have an open air marketplace. Think of it as a farmer's market for businesses, okay? Love so it. that our community can come out, shop, support local businesses, be outside in the beautiful fresh air and the sunshine of June, right? Love that. And um, support our local businesses, maybe stop by a food truck or a local restaurant, have a bite to eat, and then go on over to the family-friendly carnival and just have a good time. Have that's what fun. We want. Well, that mm -hmm. sounds like a, mm -hmm. an amazing time to me. Let mm -hmm. me ask you a few things though, I'm sure that people are, are mm -hmm. curious about. And, yes. you know, mm -hmm. congratulations to you for really pulling this together because mm -hmm. I know it had to be very creative for mm -hmm. you to take a huge upscale event mm -hmm. and just change it around a little mm -hmm. bit so that everybody can come and feel safe mm -hmm. and, like you said, just have fun and enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's, as far as safety goes, yes. let's mm -hmm. talk about that first. Mm -hmm. um, people will have to wear masks. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. they'll wear masks mm -hmm. while they're there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me a yes. little bit about... No, that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. So, clearly, you know, we did do an open-air marketplace last October. Yes. And so, we are in constant contact, and I do mean on a, a minimum of a daily, yeah. but definitely a weekly basis with the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health. Because okay. the Chamber has been working over the past year with all of our businesses to make sure that they are all following the health protocols. Our businesses in this community are committed to providing a safe environment for their customers and for their employees. So we are up to speed and up to date on every health order protocol for every sector of the economy. That's part of what we do as the Chamber of Commerce. So in looking at this event, we need to follow the health protocols for an outdoor event, for a farmer's market, as well as for an amusement park slash carnival. And so that is what we are doing. So at the present time, as we are here today taping this show, yes, um, yes Los Angeles County has a mask mandate, whether you're indoors or outdoors, vaccinated or not. That's the rule as of today. So that is the rule we were following and those are those are the rules we will continue to follow if things change by june 18th when the carnival opens we will reevaluate it but at this point in time that is the rule is the mass mandate and so we will be absolutely enforcing that and yeah. thinking mm -hmm. about the carnival if mm -hmm. i was thinking about getting on and off rides and mm -hmm. touching and mm -hmm. what have you how mm -hmm. will that work oh so with the carnival actually i just had a phone call with them with them again this morning and they have implemented a complete contactless system for buying your wristbands, buying your tickets, and getting on the ride. So now, if you can buy your tickets in advance on um, pre-sale, there's a link on the Chamber website, and okay. we're also pushing it out with social media. Okay. Then when you get to the carnival, there will be a kiosk. You don't go up to the old-fashioned ticket booth, and you don't have to hand them your credit card or hand them your money, or if it's a pre-sale, you don't have to hand them your ticket stub and have them put the wristband on. You go to the kiosk, you scan in your phone where you have your order if you did a pre-sale, 
the wristband or the tickets. It's basically going to be like a little credit card, right. kind of like you would get at Dave and Buster's or yes. something. We're calling it we're calling it magic money. Okay, it's I love the carnival that. version of Bitcoin, <laughs> right? And so you can reload that during the event, but it's going to basically come out of a machine. You put your own wristband on when you go to get on a ride, or if let's say you're going to play the basketball game, you know, where you win the big stuffed animals or something like that, or you want to buy a piece of funnel cake, they are going to scan your wristband, okay? So you're not okay. going to be handing a ticket to anyone. No one's going to be putting the wristband you, on you. It is completely contactless, okay? In addition, the carnival will be using the, you know, the social distancing markings on the ground okay. because that is what the current protocol is. Mm -hmm. And then they have invested in all that, like the airplanes are using that ultraviolet cleaning equipment. So the carnival has gone above and beyond. They've already been running carnivals um, in our county and in surrounding counties in the Los Angeles area and following all the health protocols. I also, so it's I, really cool. Well, and I also mm -hmm. love the fact that mm -hmm. one of your sponsors will be handing out hand sanitizer. Yes, Tell us about I know. that. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> we would thank you so much. Providence Little Company and Mary Medical Center is once again one of the sponsors for this event. Mm -hmm. And at their booth, they're going to be handing out hand sanitizers, masks, and goodness knows what other kinds of goodies. So that will be available to people as well. So really yeah. safety first mm -hmm. is what Absolutely. you're looking at to mm -hmm. make sure everybody is going to mm -hmm. remain safe mm -hmm. at, while having a great time. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Now, there's certain mm -hmm. things that we're used to when we go to a, a fair, mm -hmm. but at the marketplace, mm -hmm. you are going to focus on local business. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of local business yes. out there. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what we've done that we are very excited about is we've created um, we have, we've created a separate area called the Local Business Showcase, okay. and this is to make it really, really easy, efficient, and affordable for local businesses to literally bring a table and a chair and set up. Okay, they don't have to bring a pop-up tent, they don't have to do anything elaborate, just make it really easy. If you're a home-based business, okay, mm -hmm. and you sell um, Stella and Dot jewelry out of your home or whatever it might be, this is a really easy way for you to get out and talk to the community, let them know you're open for business, meet some new customers, sell some stuff. Hand out business really cool. cards. Hand out business mm -hmm. cards, all of that. That's great. Then in the marketplace area, that's where you think of the more traditional vendors like we've had at the street fair, where they're going to bring a pop-up tent and they're going to have a more elaborate setup. So, right. But again, a local businesses from the peninsula can be in either area. It's just a matter of if they want to make it really easy and just bring a table and a chair and set up, or if they want to have the pop-up tent. That's What's really your, what difference. is your deadline for this? Okay, so literally <laughs> they can sign up up until the day before, and we're going to oh make it gosh. happen. Absolutely. Because Eileen doesn't sleep, yeah. so that's, <laughs> that's basically the truth That is there. true. That is true. I do not sleep. But, but we want to make it easy and efficient for our businesses to be there. The more businesses that are there, the more everybody thrives. Because if Absolutely. I have a business and I'm there, mm -hmm. and I tell my customers, my client list, about, hey, I'm going to be at the carnival, come yes. down and see me, mm -hmm. then they're going to visit my table, and then they're going to visit your table. So exactly. So we're all in this together. That's what the chamber has been saying since the beginning. Mm -hmm. So the more we can have participate. So if you're a local business, you know, or not a local business, your business could be elsewhere, sure. you can, we want to have you participate. I mean, we have businesses from the surrounding South Bay. We have actually mobilized a team of chamber member volunteers who are making phone calls to businesses, everything we can do to get you into this. It's such an easy way to meet the community, to let them know that you're open for business, that you're safe. In addition, as you know, a lot of our local businesses are having trouble filling jobs right now. Okay, Absolutely. there's a lot of a lot of businesses that are ready to reopen or they can reopen to a larger extent. Let's say their capacity limits have been raised recently by the county. They cannot hire enough hourly workers to do that, okay? So if you're a local restaurant or a local business and you have a table, you can let people know, I'm hiring right now. We exactly. actually, we, we've been doing some other things within the chamber to help our businesses get that word out. But the point is, is this is a way to meet the community, talk to customers in three-dimensional, in person, in yes. the flesh. Like, we haven't done that for no. a lot of months. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. So that's the whole point of it. So we'll have the marketplace area and the local business area, and we'll have some food trucks, and we'll have the carnival, okay? And I think yeah. we need mm -hmm. to elaborate a little bit more on the food because mm -hmm. people love to eat when yes. they go, go to, I think, any event, inside mm -hmm. or outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you really will have a mm -hmm. lot of different choices. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it won't be the traditional food court and beer garden that we're used to okay. at the street fair, okay? Right. Again, because... 
Right now, a lot of that isn't allowed by the county, or if mm -hmm. it is allowed, the restrictions are so onerous that it's just really not feasible. So again, our focus is on come out, shop, support local businesses, go to the carnival, and have fun. That's right. the focus. But for you the can weekend. still get your funnel cake. But you can still get your funnel cake. I, I know that's what I was going to tell you, Maria. Okay. And this year, as we fun must, funnel cake is on me. Okay. <laughs> okay. We always share a piece, right? It's our tradition. It's our tradition. Absolutely. <laughs> so we'll have the funnel cake, the cotton candy, uh, you know, the hot dogs, the fries with all the crazy stuff on it and things like that. And then we'll have several, that'll be over in the carnival. And okay. then we'll have several food trucks as well. Um, you know, kind of the shaved ice, which is really popular with the teenagers, a barbecue truck, things like that. You know, food trucks, I think, in general are right. really fun. And people love them. They're exactly. very popular now. Exactly. And not a lot of them because, again, we want to have food right there so that, again, if you're walking around and you're shopping at the marketplace or talking mm -hmm. to a local business and you're hungry, you can zip over and get a shaved ice or get a barbecue yes. sandwich. But we really want to encourage you as well to go to our local restaurants. You have mm -hmm. El Pollo Inca, you have Good Stuff, yes. you have you know, Chicken Maison, whatever it might be. We want you to go to those local restaurants, sit down, have a meal, right. you know, and then you can come right back. So that's, that's why we don't really want to overdo the food because, again, we want you to go to the local restaurants. And yeah. then also, mm -hmm. it's not going to be on the street this year, Correct. but in mm -hmm. two different parking areas. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little yes. bit more about that. Great, Great question, Maria. Okay. So the carnival will be um, over at Peninsula Shopping Center. And I just want to say we are so grateful to both Peninsula Shopping Center and the Promenade on the Peninsula. Both of those centers are true community partners. They are working with the Chamber and allowing us to use some of their real estate for this event, and we really, really appreciate that sure, so much. They're just, they're, they're amazing. And mm -hmm. so, um, again, we want to drive traffic to both of their shopping centers. Yes. You know, we want you to, you know, to go to Peninsula Shopping Center and go to the Promenade and see what's there and patronize the businesses that are there. That are there. So the carnival will be in that lower parking lot, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, you know, kind of over at Peninsula Shopping Center, and right. then you'll cross the street at the traffic light, and then the marketplace and local business showcase will be in the parking lot just adjacent to Union Bank. And I want to give a shout out to Union Bank um, for allowing us to use that parking lot. And, um, and then part of the local business showcase will go into the promenade property as well. And then what so, about parking? Mm -hmm. So parking at this point, just park wherever, just wherever park. you want. I mean, <laughs> okay. obviously we're gonna make a plea to please don't park at Peninsula Shopping Center or in the Promenade Garage so that the patrons who are there just to go to those stores don't park, you know, they yes. can be able to park. Okay, obviously. So we're just going to suggest that you find spots, you know, along Silver okay. Spur, along Indian Peak, um, you know, whatever, whatever you might do. But uh, we do want to be respectful of you know, some of the businesses that are open so that they can get their get their spaces as well for their customers. Okay, yeah. and so mm -hmm. we want to mm -hmm. also say it, this is going to be mm -hmm. the 19th and 20th, but mm -hmm. you will start on the 18th Yes, on mm -hmm. Friday night. Tell mm -hmm. us about yeah. that. Okay, so the carnival, the carnival. is going to open mm -hmm. on Friday night from 4 till 10, Okay, um, and that is um, a family carnival. Anybody can come. So anyway, you can you can pre-sale your wristband, you know, buy a wristband for that day if you want for unlimited ride for those six hours. And then the carnival will also be Saturday and Sunday, the 19th and 20th, mm -hmm. from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. The marketplace will be Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 6. So basically, come at 10, do some shopping, go over to the carnival, come back and shop, go back to the carnival. You can, like, make a day out of it. Go make to the promenade, go to, yeah, yeah and exactly, just, just exactly. enjoy it. I mean, just to see the community out together, I have to tell you, Can't Maria, wait. we did kind of an informal survey as we were, you know, working on this idea and trying to see could it happen, you know, what could we do, what will the county allow us to do, of course, and all that. And we would we called up some people and we said in the community, we said, we're going to have a carnival, what do you think? And the first reaction would be, you're doing what? And then they would say, oh my gosh, you're doing what? Of course yeah, we'll be there. People exactly. are just when can so we come? excited. Like, can we come right now? Is yes. it this weekend? So, so no, it's June 18th, 19th, and 20th, but yes. that'll Mark be Mark your here. calendar now. Exactly, but that'll be here before you know it. And, it you know, will. we're so excited. And it's and it is important for the Chamber um, because, again, in our mission to support local businesses, you know, we, we need this event as well. And so this is kind yes. of what we're doing so that we can continue our work to promote our community, to, you know, get the nonprofits out there, get the, you know, get our businesses out there, you know, bring the community together. This will be the first you know, kind of event of its kind after the June 15th, you know, that's right, governor is opening up the state. So we're, that's why we picked this weekend. 
you know, we're really excited. Well, mm -hmm. and it's so nice, too, because you mm -hmm. can walk around. It's pet friendly if you yes. want to bring your dogs with you and just mm -hmm. walk around. Mm -hmm. the, the City of Rancho Palos Verdes will have a booth there mm -hmm. as well. Yep. So mm -hmm. we will be there. Please come up and talk to us. Carlos mm -hmm. and I will be there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you see us, grab us, say mm -hmm. hello. We love that. Mm -hmm. But I think what you were saying before is so mm -hmm. important. It's an opportunity for people mm -hmm. to get out to see each other. Mm -hmm. it's, to, it's safe. You're outside. Right. Mm -hmm. What better place to do right. that? Well, exactly. And I mean, that is what, and I know, Maria, you and I have been a, together at the street fair for 10 plus Many years, years, right? Yes. And what I love about the street fair is the sense of community. You can yes. feel it, okay? Whether it's people dancing, kids at the carnival, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to capture some of that spirit again because we all really, really need it. We need the community to come together for and sure. have fun. Yes, it's going to be in a little bit of a modified way. It's not going to be the big street fair that we all know and love. We'll be back with that as soon as we can do that with the county. But for now, we can bring the community together. It will be safe. It will be contactless at the carnival. You can have fun you know, with your kids, your grandkids, the teenagers, whatever it might be. Come and shop. Support local businesses. Visit the promenade on the peninsula. Visit Peninsula Shopping Center. Um, be a, you know, and and see what all of our businesses have to offer because it's so so critical to, for the community to do that. And I think it's mm -hmm. so important just to reiterate that about local business. They're mm -hmm. going to have tables set up mm -hmm. so that people really realize we are open for business. This yeah. is what we do. Mm -hmm. In case you didn't know, somebody has a, mm -hmm. a gym or mm -hmm. a private workout facility. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so many local businesses mm -hmm. that really you know need to be out there, mm -hmm. and people wonder, oh, are they still open? Exactly. And so please. You know, go to the chamber website mm -hmm. and and sign mm -hmm. up for that because yes. mm -hmm. that's going to be hugely important, Eileen. Yeah, no, absolutely, and that's a really good point. A couple of weeks ago, I spent my Saturday walking around and talking to businesses, just walking up and down and going in. And mm -hmm. businesses are telling me that people are slow to come back, and yeah. so we are pushing the message to the community that our businesses are safe. They're open for business. They want to make it safe for the customers and for their employees. I mean, that's what our businesses are focused on. They're following the health protocols. The health protocols are good. Mm -hmm. You know, they're important because they ensure everyone's safety. And that's why having this, it just made me even more committed to wanting to do this event and do it well because it is so important for people to know that, yes, here's a personal trainer. Here's somebody who, um, here's a local bank, whatever it might be. Here's a nonprofit. Here's a school. Yes. Okay, here's a program you can sign your kids up for for the summer, whatever mm -hmm. it might be. It's so important to get that word out to everyone. And so that's kind of really what we are focusing on is come out and support businesses, have fun, come to the carnival, um, and just enjoy seeing each other like yes. in the flesh. Like well, it's and, crazy. You know, yeah. you want to talk about shifting gears. Mm -hmm. You've really had to do that because mm -hmm. this is usually a huge event mm -hmm. that you plan all year. Mm -hmm. At what point did you mm -hmm. say, okay, we're going to revise mm -hmm. and we're going to figure this out for mm -hmm. 2021? Uh, I would well. It always had been in the back of my mind, okay, because okay. we did that open air marketplace last yes. October, okay, and, and we it was a success. First, it was a success, and we were the first event of its kind to happen, right? Okay, I'm just going, and I, we worked very, very hard. You the did. health department was very supportive. Yes. They worked with us to make sure that everything was done right. to perfection, and mm -hmm. so that was really important to us, you know. And we even got. I even got like praise from a local doctor who said, oh my gosh, you did this like so right. And I just got to give you a shout out. We had a local hair salon who has a very well-established practice and he took a booth at that open air marketplace in October. So great. Just to support, he didn't, he really, he's got a lot of clients, but he wanted to support his, of uh, the other local businesses. He right. wanted to be a team player and be part of the community. He booked appointments with 53 new customers that weekend. I am talking not, gee, I'm interested, send me an email. 53 new customers signed up and booked appointments. So that's why I'm that's just- amazing. You know, if you're a local business or you have a business anywhere in the South Bay, go on the Chamber website. The application is there. The information is there. Our contact information is there. You know, get a hold of us if you have questions, but yes. sign up to be a part of this. I mean, it's it's really cool. So, but to answer your question, it, it had been in the back of my mind since last October, and I was mm -hmm. like, we're going to do one in the spring. Maybe we'll do one in the fall with some added things. Okay, but I was I was determined that we were going to do it, and we just needed to kind of wait because, as you know, things are changing daily with Absolutely. the county and the mm -hmm. state and all of that. And so, um, I will tell you that. Um, Right around the middle of April, 
Okay, basically two months before we're going to pull this off was when we said, okay, we, you know, we know we can do this. We've got the protocols from the county. Let's do it. So we're going to pull this off in like eight weeks time. And when Eileen Hub says yeah. she's going to pull something off, she pulls it off. Oh Trust me, that is just the way it happens around well, here. Well, you're very kind, but no. it takes it takes a team. We have some phenomenal board members from the chamber who are working on this. We have a great committee. We have great volunteers. And then clearly, um, you know, we so appreciate you, you know, talking to us about it because it we helps to it. get the word out to the community. Um, whether you want to be a vendor and you know and be a part of mm -hmm. it, absolutely. Or if not, then please just come and attend and support local business and uh, maybe take a spin on uh, one of those rides. Absolutely. <laughs> or play a game or play, have a piece yeah. of funnel cake, whatever. Exactly. Just yeah. enjoy being mm -hmm. outside again. Exactly. And seeing your friends and neighbors. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, mm -hmm. and, and I think, mm -hmm. again, that's probably the best part is mm -hmm. just that we can all be together and yeah. safe. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we are so committed to that. And we will be, as I said, following every rule that we need to follow to make everybody safe. Okay, yeah. please give mm -hmm. out your website. Yes, so it's palaceverdeschamber.com. Okay. Or you can just Google Palace Verdes Chamber and it will pop up. And if you go to events um, June 18th, 19th, and 20th, you'll see all the information um, for the vendor packets, you know, if you're interested in mm -hmm. being in being a local, when I say vendor, it's being a local business that wants right. to either have a table or a booth. Yes. Okay. Um, our contact information is on there, our phone number and our email as well. And then uh, the pre-sale link if you want to pre-sale an all-day ride wristband, okay, for the, for the carnival, which I'm just going to say is a really good deal. I mean, 11 to 9, how many hours is that? 10 hours of rides? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's what, so What it's a so great worth place it. for the kids to go and just have fun. Exactly. And even the bigger kids. Exactly. Know? Everybody, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, very, it's a really good deal. So we would encourage you to go to the website, or if not, just call us or email us, and we'll get right back to you. Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, Eileen, thank you so much for being with us today, giving us all of this great information. Mm -hmm. We're excited. And mm -hmm. of course, we will be at mm -hmm. the Marketplace and Carnival on mm -hmm. July 19th and 20th, but 18th also, mm -hmm. if you want to go out Friday night. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very yes. good. All right. Thank you for being mm -hmm. with us, Eileen. Thank you, Maria. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching. I'm Maria Soreo, and we will see you around the peninsula and at the Marketplace and Carnival.